Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to do a lot of PYQs. Majorly on this topic, linear equations. Right? In the last video, we have understood uh, what a linear equation is and how to solve single and multivariable equation. Right? And using that, uh, that those concepts, we are going to solve the previous year questions specifically from uh, 2019 and 2020 exam. Right? Let's start. Let's start with the first question. And again, before that, I want to say, first, in my in my opinion, you should download this PDF from the channel, Telegram channel. Try to solve every question before looking at the solution. That is going to give you a good practice as well as going to save you a very important time in your preparation. Right? Let's start. First question. This is a question from CSAT 2019 exam. Again, you you have you can pause now, try to do this question on your own, and then come back and rewatch the solution. Right? Let's start. This is question is very similar to what we have done in the last video where we have some father and son. Their age was given after some years. Their age was four times that of son, and so on. If you have not seen the video, you can check it in the last video, right? Now the question is: In 20, 2002, Minu and Mira are two person. Minu's age was one third the age of Mira, right? Now I will just write it down. Write down this. Why? Because I want to make a linear equation of of it, right? In 2002, Minu and Mira. I will write Minu. I will say Minu is a. And Mira is B, just for the sake of simplicity. A, Minu was A years old in 2002, and Mira was B years old in 2002. And the first equation is at that time, Minu was one third the age of Mira. That means Minu was one third of B, or you can write it as 3A is equal to B. I hope this is clear. This was uh, this is the first equation we have found. Now, from 2002, now it is 2010. Minu age is now half of age of Mira. Now it's not one third anymore, but half. Now, first thing, how many years have passed in between? In between 2002 to 2010, total eight years have passed. So, if the Minu's age was eight. In at that time, now it is a plus eight. Has it not? That eight years have passed, and Mira's age was b. Now it is b plus eight. Now they say that Minu's age a plus eight is half of Mira's age. B plus eight by two means half of b plus eight, right? If you simplify it, it will be two a plus I am just taking it on the other side. 2a plus 16 is equal to b plus 8. And if from here you can write 2a, taking all the variables on one side, 2a minus b is equal to 8 minus 16 or 2a minus b is equal to minus 8. This is the equation number 2. Right? 2a minus b is minus 8. Uh, this is the second number equation. Right? Now we have two equations where 3a is equal to b and 2a minus b is equal to minus 8. Right? I hope this is clear. Now, two things you can do here. You can simply put b as 3 here. This will just solve it. We will be able to solve this question very quickly. Right? So, I will write 2a minus b. b is what? 3a is minus 8. 2a minus 3a is minus a is minus 8. a is 8. We are able to find a as 8 and now b will be 8. These are 24. Means 3 of 8. These are the two ages, right? So the, the Mino's age is 8 and Mira is 24 when it was in 2002. Right? In 2002, Mino's age was 8, Mira was 24. I hope this is clear. Now, they are asking. Minu was born in which year? 
Minu was born in which year? If in 2002 Minu's age was 8, she must have born 8 years before that. Means in 2002 she was 8 years old. So if you go back 8 years, she was born in 1994. That is why in 2002 she is 8 years old. So 1994 is the answer for question number 18 of 2019 exam. I hope this is clear. Easy. Moving on. Now, before this question, I will explain to you the concept of basic concept of number. I, I, I think I have already covered in some other video of number system, but again a quick recap. Why? How? Suppose a number is given to you 524. Right? How can you write it? Can you not write it like this? 5 into 100 plus 2 into 10 plus 4 into 1. This will make it at 524. I hope this is clear. Means you can write it as 500. Suppose I, I, I give you 1, 2, 3, 8. So this is 1 into 1000 plus 2 into 100 plus 3 into 10 plus 8. This is how you bifurcate a given number into 10, 100, thousand and so on right now now just i will just remove it and now tell me if a number is given to you like suppose a b a b is nothing but like suppose 81 so instead of 8 i write a and instead of b i wrote uh, 1 right uh, um, instead of 1 i wrote b so a b is a number given to you with the digits as a b now i will ask you write it in the form of tens and hundreds. Can you not write it like this? A into 10 plus B. Right? Suppose it is a three digit natural number ABC. How can you write it? A into 100 plus B into 10 plus C. Right? I hope this is clear. Now, now coming back to the question. Ratio of two digit natural number to a number formed by reversing a digit. You don't have to uh, just, just focus on these part. A two digit natural number is there and there is another number formed by reversing a digit. Like suppose 81 is there, reversing a digit is 18. Right? That is so, if AB is one number, reversing a digit will be make it BA. Right? AB is a number and reverse a digit, it will be BA. Now, AB is what? 10 A plus B. And B A is what? 10 B plus A. That's all you have to know. Now, ratio of these two numbers means, ratio means divide first by second. 10 B plus A. The ratio is 4 by 7. Ratio is 4 by 7. I hope this is clear. The ratio of a number dividing by the uh, number found by reversing a digit is 4 by 7. Now, what, what do we get? 10a plus b. So, simplify it. 70a plus 7b is equal to 40b plus 4a. I hope this is clear. Just do the calculation here. Take a on one side. So, we are left with 60, 66a is equal to 33b. I hope it is clear. 66A is equal to 33B. Or you can do simplify that A by B is equal to 33 by 66 is equal to 1 by 2. So, we have got A by B as 1 by 2. Now, now just think, if AB is a number, A and B are, is a, AB is a number, what could A be or what could B be? If A and B are two digit number, A can be anything from 0 to 9 and B can be anything from 0 to 9. But since it is a two digit natural number, A can be only from 1 to 9. Right? Means if it is a 0, 9, suppose 0, 9 is a number, that will not make it a two digit number, it will be one digit number. So, A can be anything from 1 to 9, B can be anything from 0 to 9. 
only these values are possible for a and b right now a and b are 1 by 2 suppose i say uh, uh, suppose let's start with a if a is 1 what will be b b will be 2 this is the first combination of a and b which could be the answer if a is 2 b is 4 another co combination possible if i will make a table here if a is 1 then b becomes 2 if a is 2 b is 4 if a is 3 b is 6 if a is 4 b is 8 if a is 5 b is 10 is b 10 possible no so all this could not be the answer only these four combinations are possible as an answer so the answer is how many such pairs are possible only four pairs are possible i hope this is clear now moving on let's move on quickly to the next question very similar uh, as i've told you in the last question the sum of two odd numbers is this much how many combinations are possible and also the last question we have found a combination question right this question is also very similar now three denominational nodes are available to you means only three nodes are available to you where a lot of nodes are given to you but only one rupee note is there 10 rupee note is there and 50 rupee note is there you want to make in how many ways you can form it that the total sum is 107 of uh, of some uh, notes taken out of it right now let's see if you have only three options a b and c a is a fifth a is a one rupee note one rupee note b is 10 rupee note and c is 50 rupee note again if you have not pause the video pause the video now try to solve this question on your own then come back and check the solution right now if suppose one rupee note i've taken in a numbers of note i've taken and which are one rupee note of 10 rupee note i've taken b and c is a 50 rupee note right i want to take make the sum as 107 right now if i have suppose a notes of 1 rupee how what is the total value i have i can, i have a into 1 means i have suppose 5 notes of 1 rupee what is the total amount i have i have total 5 rupees if i have b notes of 10 rupees that means b into 10 means like i have say 7 notes of 10 rupee that makes it 70 rupees and c into 50 right so a is 1 b is 10 and c is 50 i hope this is clear and you want to make 107 rupees right now i will take make a table here and see how many values are possible now can i take i can first thing can i take three notes of uh, c means can i take three 50 rupees notes no because that will make the sum as 150 so that will be more than 107 so maximum maximum notes i could take of uh, 50 rupee note is two notes means i if i have uh, two notes that means i have already have 100 rupees with me i just need 7 rupees which i can take from one rupee note or i can take one only one note of 50 rupees that will make 50 rupees from this and I will make 57 from other notes. Or I can take nothing of it and something from 1 rupee note and 50 rupee note. I hope this is clear. So C could be only 0, 1, and 2. Three combinations of C are possible. Right? Now, first let's see. If C is 2, right? If C is 2, what is the amount that is left? If C is 2, that is I have 100, already I have 100 rupees. I need only 7 rupees more. Right? I only need 7 rupees more. And how can I, I can I make 7 rupees? I can only make 7 rupees by using 7 1 rupee note. So A will be 7. B is 0. Only this is the one only solution where I take 2 notes of 50 rupees, 7 notes of 1 rupee, and nothing of B. I hope this is clear. This is the only case possible. You can think whatever you, uh, whatever other case possible where I take two 50 rupees note. Only one case is I, uh, the remaining 7 rupees I can cover using 7 1 rupee note. Right? I hope this is clear. Now, C is equal to 1. Means I am only taking 150 rupees. 
50 rupees note i am left with rupees 57 now this 57 in how many ways i can form to make 57 rupees i can only use a and b i hope this is clear now first thing as i've seen as we have done with c now c uh, can you can you use six notes of b no because that will make six notes of b means six notes of 10 rupees note that will make it more than 57 so maximum only i can take here is five notes of b that is 50 rupees from here here i can take four notes or three notes or two notes or one note or nothing i hope this is clear if i take five notes of from here i will have 50 rupees with b remaining seven notes i uh, i will take of one rupee if i take 40 rupees from here i have to take 17 from here if i take 30 rupees from here i will have 27 from here 20 17 oh sorry 37 10 from here 47 from here or a last case is i take nothing no 10 rupees note then for all the 57 is coming from one rupee note right so the combination still now is this is first combination this is c is one then second combination that means one uh, 50 rupees note five 10 rupee note and seven one rupee note third combination is this fourth is this fifth is this sixth is this seven is this i hope this is clear that this we are now we have all we have seen there are total how many cases possible till now seven cases now third case is when i take nothing from uh, 100 rupee or oh, sorry 50 rupee note then what will be left with i have to make 107 using what one rupee note and ten rupee note. Now I will make again a table of A B. Now tell me, can I take eleven notes of uh, ten rupee note? No, because that will make it one hundred ten. So I can take maximum of ten notes. I will be having hundred rupees from here. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And also there is another zero here, right? And when I have ten notes of ten rupees. That is, I already have 100 rupees. I only need 7 rupees from here. This is another combination. That is 90 rupees. That is, I have how many from here? 17 rupees from here. And so on. So, I have already have 7 cases. This will be the 8th, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 here, and 18 here. So, total of 18 combination possible. Where I can make 107 rupees out of these three notes. I hope this is clear. See, if you have any confusion, just re rewind this video a little bit and you will understand how we are able to find these many cases. Now, where is this, this linear equation comes into play? Now we have to know that this is the equation and find all the possible values where this equation becomes equal to 107. And the answer is total 18 cases. So, I am going to mark 18 answer. This is on the tougher side. But mind you, you have to, you cannot leave such a question in the exam because see, one question is there. Similar question is this, how many combinations are there. So, you can expect similar question. See, in 2019 only, there were two questions from this part. If you know how to solve this, you, you will be able to solve this answer. Uh, and this is another question. See, this is the third question from the same year. There are how many ways are possible to make this and this, right? Again, pause the video now if you have not and try to solve this question on your own before looking at the solution. This is very similar to what we have done just now where those 100 rupee note, 20, 50 rupee note and uh, 1 rupee note, right? Now, let's see. This says that how many triplets are possible that x plus y plus z is 6 and all these are natural numbers x y z are natural number now first tell me what are natural number natural number is starting from 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and so on there is no zero there is no negative here right no zero and no negative so i have x plus y and z 6 so i can take x y and z here now Again, this is a form. This is a question of uh, combination. 
Suppose I take z as 6. If I take z as 6, then x and y will be 0, 0. Is 0 a natural number? No. So, this case is not possible. This case is not possible. I take z as 5. If I take z as 5, that means x plus y is 1. So, it could be like this 1, 0 or 1, 0 like this, whatever. But still, one of them is 0. 0 is not a natural number. So, this cannot be this. So, the max, the z that is allowed is 4. So, maximum value of z is 4. Right? So, I will just make a table again. x, y, z. I hope it is clear that y, z cannot be 6, z, can, z cannot be uh, 5. z is 4. That is possible. If z is 4, x plus y is x plus y is 2. Now, tell me, when x plus y is 2, then this is possible? 1, 1, yes. Another way is 2, 0 or 0, 2. This is also possible. But is 0 a natural number? No. So, this cannot be the case and also this cannot be the case. When z is 4, only the possible case is 1 and 1. Right? Now, z is equal to 3. Now, I have, have x plus y is 3. Uh, what, what are the possible cases? Z, 3, 0, 2, 1, 1, 2, 0, 3. Right? Now, if I see here, is 3, 0 possible? No, because 0 is not a natural number. Gone. Is 0, 3 possible? No. So, uh, gone. So, I, will, I have left it. Z is equal to 3 is 2, 1 and 1, 2. I hope this is clear. Now, Z is equal to 2. When Z is equal to 2, X plus Y is what? 1. Oh, sorry. 4. When x plus y is 4, then 0, 4 is not possible. 3, 1 is possible. 2, 2 is possible. 1, 3 is possible. And 0, 4 is not possible. So, with z is equal to 2, I have 3 cases. Right? When z is equal to 1, when z is equal to 1, x plus y is 5. When x plus five, y is 5, I will just write it, uh, I will just write it here. When x plus y is 5, then x 5 and 0 is not possible. Then I have, the only possible uh, is 4, 1, 3, 2, 2, 3 and 1, 4. These four cases are possible with z is equal to 1. Right? Now, is z is equal to 0 possible? No, because 0 is not a natural number. So, how many cases I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, 10 cases are possible where this, these, this, is, this is the answer. I hope this is clear. Now, going back. The answer, final answer is 10. Right? I hope this is clear. Only in CSAT 2019, you have seen 3 questions from this. So, see how important it is to understand how to find the combination of such a number. Right? Only on that concept uh, making an equation and finding the combination you will be, you would have been able to solve three questions in the exam. Right? Now, in the sum, some symbol is given to you. That symbol is again repeated here. Symbol is again repeated here. Symbol, symbol, symbol and two symbol here. And they are asking us, what does this symbol stand for? Now, telling you this, if the symbol looks difficult to, for you to understand, let's make it like this. x, second is 1x, sec, then is 5x, then xx, then x and 1. Right? Now, this is a sum and it is given, giving you final answer as one symbol symbol. Right? Now, to solve this question, this is not a simple question. If you don't know the concept of bifurcating the number as suppose, did I not tell you in the last video, uh, just second question of uh, this video, writing a, a, a b as 10 a plus b, right? So now, here, what we are going to do, x, write x as x, write 1 x as 10 into 1, plus x 
5 x as 5 into 10 plus x, x x as x x as x into 10 plus x and x1 as x into 10 plus 1. I hope this is clear. Right. Now, if you see here, if you see here, then this bring all the tens here. If you see 10, 1 plus 5 means this one, this one, this one and this one. So, if you have 1 plus 5 plus x plus x and all the ones on one side, x plus x plus x plus 1. Right? I hope this is clear. x plus x plus x plus 1. Now, if you see, this is uh, the final answer is 1xx. This means 100 into 1 plus 10x plus x. Right? Now, now see, uh, in the exam, if you are not able to, if you don't want to follow this big pattern, I just, I have just picked this question for you to understand the concept of how to bifurcate AB into 10A plus B. If you in the exam, if you want to do this, what I will do, if I had been in your case, I would have just put in, uh, let's pick the option number 1, 2, 1, 2, 52, 22, 21 and you should be getting answer as 122. If this is not the case, then what I will do, I will, I will pick option number 2, that is 3 plus 13 plus 53 plus 33 plus 31 and the answer should be 133. If this is not the case, I would have picked 4, then, then and so on. Right? This is one way uh, of getting the, uh, uh, this is one way of solving this question. Or otherwise see, here if you see, I am getting, see, this is, uh, this is 10 into something and this is the last digit. This means, x plus x plus x plus 1 will decide what is the last digit and the last digit of from here is x. This should be something like this. Means if I add x plus x plus 1, this should the last digit of that sum should be x. Now if I do 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1, this is giving me 7. That 7 is not equal to 2. So, I so that 2 could not be the answer. 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 1 will give me 10. The last digit of 10 is 0. 0 is not equal to 3. So, that is also not an answer. Right? So, this way, this is a one way of doing it. Or you can simply do, uh, uh, similarly putting this and comparing it with 1xx. You will get, you will find the final answer, and this is a long method. Or you can simply put in these values, and you could solve this question. I hope this is clear. This understanding this is important for the exam. I hope this is clear. Now moving on. This is the last question for this, based on the linear equation, and. Based on the linear equation, here what is it? It says a vessel full of water weighs 40 kg. Means there is a vessel and there is some water in it. Right? If a vessel full of water weighs 40 kg, means when the vessel is totally full, then it weighs 40 kg. But if it is one third full, it, its weight becomes 20 kg. What is the weight of empty vessel? I have this clear. Now, this is simply say, see this is the beaker. Uh, let's see, this is a beaker. This is an empty, empty, uh, empty vessel, right? This is an empty vessel. It uh, till uh, now it till now it does not have any water in it, right? So the let's say the weight of empty vessel is for our question x right then the weight 
then the weight full of water is uh, 40 kg now the completely fill full water means this completely if it is completely filled with water suppose whatever the water is it is y kgs this total x plus y is 40 this is equation number 1 now if this this beaker is only one third filled only one third filled suppose only it's only one third of filled with water now the empty vessel weight will still be there because vessel is not going with anywhere so x will still be there but water is now instead of full it is one third of the original amount y by 3 and this is 20 kg i hope this is clear x plus y is 40 x plus y by 3 is x plus y means total water is total water is 40 and x plus y by 3 is 20 solve how to solve this equation minus 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 x minus x is 0 y minus y by 3 is 2 y by 3 and 40 minus 20 is 20 right this is 10 y is 30 if y is 30 x is 10 you can check right so the empty vessel is 10 kgs when the water is completely filled then weight of water is 30 kg when only one third water is filled that is 10 kg of the original amount so that makes it the total weight as 40 kg or 10 plus 10 20 kg so the weight of empty vessel is weight of empty vessel is sorry 10 kg i hope this is clear and this completes our pyq on the topic linear equation here what we have learned majorly is uh, in the first part age question is important they can ask you age question in any form they want second the combination x plus y plus z is 6 very important question because only in one exam 2019 three such questions were asked then there was simple question where the quick way since that there is limited time in the exam you can go do not, cannot go the long way the long way is a b if a b is given to you that can be written as 10 a plus b and this is also we have seen in the question number second of this pyqs where that interchanging the digit question was there and in the exam if i had been there i would have simply put all the options and find the answer right and uh, moving on the last question was an empty vessel only trick was you have to form the correct equation and you will be able to solve the question very easily i hope this is clear this completes our pyq for linear equations as well in the next video we will move to the ne next topic if you want you can download this pdf from the telegram channel and solve this question on your own and uh, we'll see, see in the we'll meet in the next video until then best of luck guys